This is it! You're about to be eaten by a vicious T-Rex! Any minute now. What you might not know is that you can literally outrun it. The T-Rex is a merciless hunter the size of a school bus with a strong tail and blades for teeth. But it's actually quite slow, moving at a mere 12 miles per hour. It's as fast as the gray squirrel is. You're zigzagging through the forest. The terrifying creature seems to be still miles away. But then it bursts through the jungle and is suddenly right behind you. Okay, now you can panic. The T-Rex may be a slowpoke, but its lungs are larger than yours. It means the critter could run plenty of marathons. Luckily, you reach a cave and hide inside, waiting for the dino to get bored. Oh, wait! Never mind! It's just broken through the rock and is back at it again. Will you make it out of this? We'll find out soon enough. A velociraptor can reach a speed of around 25 miles per hour, which means it's slightly faster than a brown bear. Putting these two head to head would be interesting. They're off! The velociraptor cuts through the air like a knife through butter, but the big fluff ball is galloping right behind the dino. This may be the only time we'd ever see such a race. Look, the bear is gaining on the competitor. Watch out, raptor. There are some bushes in front of them. The raptor just leaps over them and continues the race, while the bear barges straight through the bushes and stops for some yummy berries. When it's done, the raptor is long gone. Many of these dinos can be compared to modern-day chickens and ostriches in terms of speed and movement. An ostrich can reach a speed of around 45 miles per hour. That's similar to the speed of its ancient cousin, the ornithomimid. That creature even physically looked the same. Long legs? Check. A small head and a slender neck? Check. Anyway, they're running as fast as they can. The ostrich is speeding its way through the field and attempts to push the dino ostrich to the curb. But it misses and loses its step. The dino continues to run and makes it deep into the forest. Player 3 enters the game. The Compsognathus is a two-legged creature. It has the face of a regular lizard you can find in your garden, but the physique of an Olympic athlete and plenty of razor-sharp teeth. This dino can reach a speed of 40 miles per hour, which is just on par with a greyhound. Even though it's not the biggest dino out there, it's still fearsome. This creature is merely looking for something to eat. But unfortunately, its dinner gets canceled. The ostrich and its dino cousin team up and outrun the lizard-like hunter. But it'll be back. Just wait for it. Back to Sarah. This armored beast can run at up to 20 miles per hour, which is just about the same speed as that of a brown bear. But let that poor animal have its berries. The modern-day rhino is the fastest among the mammals weighing more than 2,200 pounds. The white rhino can reach a speed of almost 30 miles per hour. But Sarah will probably win this one. They're running side by side, with the rhino gaining momentum. Its body is more suited for running. But there are some obstacles in the way. At first, the rhino manages to break through a pile of logs and a fence. But after that, things are heating up. The rhino is slowing down. It can't break through all the barriers in its way. Meanwhile, Sarah is destroying everything in its path, as if it's on a walk in the park. And it's a good thing they're in the forest and not in the city, because the city is getting wrecked by a giant Brachiosaurus. This powerful creature moves at a slow pace of 10 miles per hour, which is as fast as a pig moves. They're both at the starting line. On your mark, get set, go! And the dino wins. It was fast. The race is over. A fully grown Brachiosaurus can reach 80 feet in length and grow as high as 40 feet. Just one step, and its long neck reaches the finish line. The Stegosaurus is known for having a set of plates on its back and tail, but it also has one of the smallest brains among dinos. Scientists claim that its brain is the size of a walnut. This slowpoke moves at a mere 7 miles per hour, a bit more slowly than a chicken, this modern-day dinosaur. The chicken is off to a good start. It manages to run past all the obstacles, and the Stegosaurus still hasn't figured out that it's taking part in a race. Now the chicken is just pecking the ground behind the finish line. Let's add something to make this race more interesting. There we go. 
The T-Rex is back and chasing the chicken and the stegosaurus. This time, they're running for their lives. The T-Rex may be faster than them, but chasing a chicken is no easy feat. And good luck trying to take down a fully grown steggy. They're running through the field, and the T-Rex is slowly but surely gaining on them. You're still hiding, watching the race. But suddenly, the T-Rex sees you and starts the chase. Round two. You're running through the forest, trying to hide, but the big dino is catching up. Luckily, the Stegosaurus gets in the way and distracts the hunter. You make it out safely once again. The Dilophosaurus may be more of a bird than a lizard, but it's still quite scary. It's half the size of a T-Rex. It's best known for having two large crests running from its nostrils all the way to the back of its head. The Black Mamba is one of the most venomous snakes in Africa. It can grow up to 14 feet in length and slither at a speed of 13 to 20 miles per hour. Both creatures have almost the same speed, but one of them doesn't have arms or legs. They're both going as fast as they can, but it's hard to tell which one is winning. The dino can sprint fast, but the snake isn't that far behind. But in the end, it's the dino that takes the gold. The largest pterosaur ever is soaring above them. It's the... Well, there's no way I'm saying its name out loud. Yeah, I mean that dinosaur. It has a wingspan of 35 feet and can fly at an incredible speed of more than 70 miles per hour. And when it glides, it can reach a speed of around 60 miles per hour. The California condor is a weird-looking bird of prey with an impressive wingspan of 10 feet. It can move as fast as the dino, and it can also rise up to 15,000 feet in the air. The largest flying bird in North America easily catches up with the dino. Both animals have great eyesight. That's why they can see other animals and dinosaurs racing far below them. They both swoop down, trying to catch the chicken, but almost become the T-Rex's meal themselves. The condor lands on the Brachiosaurus's head. The gray squirrel joins it. The pig is hiding under the dino's belly, trying not to draw attention to itself. Ah, uh, too late. The Velociraptor and the Dilophosaurus pop out of nowhere and start chasing it. But they can't get around the rhino and Sarah that seem to have become friends by this point. The pig is safe. Meanwhile, the ostrich and its dino cousin haven't given up and are leading the race. The Stegosaurus is trying its best to catch up with its competitors. But look, the Greyhound is leading the race now. The dino bird soars into the sky, trying to find another way to be first. The Compsognathus gains on them and sprints forward, but it can't get around the rhino and Sarah. The T-Rex lets out a roar that makes all the participants move faster. They split up so that the rest of them can get forward. You pop up from your hiding spot. You're only a couple of feet away from the finish line. You see the stampede behind you and run! Humans can run at a speed of 25 miles per hour. But since you're running for your life, it feels as if you're moving at the speed of light. Good job! You've just won the race. But the animals behind your back are still running. Yeah, um, maybe you shouldn't stop either. Will someone tell that bear there are no more berries ahead?